Eat something, baby. What's up with it? What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy, RDR, and welcome back to RDR Food Reviews. As you can see here, right in front of your face, the bottom of the screen today, your boy, RDR, is doing a Fletcher's Original Corn Dog Mukbang video. That's right, a Fletcher's Original Corn Dog Mukbang video. Now, this all started off by me scrolling on Facebook, and I saw that on the Golden Chick uh, Facebook page, that they were paying homage to the Texas State Fair by putting out one of the classic items at the Texas State Fair for cuisine, the Fletcher Original Corn Dog. Man, shout out to Golden Chick for doing that because the Texas State Fair got canceled, obviously because of COVID reasons, which is very sad, you know, because everybody knows that the Texas State Fair is the best state fair in the nation. That's right, I said it. <laughs> it's true. And uh, Big Tex can back me up on that. 21. So, uh, yeah, they are putting out the Fletcher's Original Corn Dog. Uh, it said that the Fletcher Original Corn Dog was, uh, was, well, obviously, by the brothers Carl and Neil Fletcher, they invented the corn dog, and they pretty much put a stamp saying that, hey, they made it before anybody else. And so I wanted to try this unique um, Fletcher corn dog to see how how good it is, especially the golden chick way. So that's what we got here going today. This is your first time coming to RDL Food Reviews. I'm your host, Roberto Del Rio, and this is RDL Food Reviews. I not only do food reviews, I do story time videos, I do mukbangs, food vlogs, food reviews, challenge cooking videos, the works. So if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button at the bottom next to that notification bell so you can get the latest, greatest audio food reviews. Also, guys, don't forget to check out the coldest water. It will keep, this high quality vacuum seal water bottle will keep your drink on freeze for up to 36 hours. That's right, Cuddy, 36 hours. So if you are very much interested, which you should be, because if not, what are you doing? <laughs> You need to hit down and below in the description box below. Check out the code as water today. Also, don't forget to put in my promotion code refreshing so you can get 10% off on your purchase. Pretty much it's your shipping cutting. Also, they're doing giveaways. It's September. I believe they're probably giving away another high quality vacuum seal one gallon water bottle. So you need to get in where you fit in. And uh, yes, definitely check out the code as water today. Shout out to the code as water for putting this in our life because, you know, I have ever since the coldest water that came in my, my life, I ain't had a, now another water bottle coming to my life. Winning. <laughs> so anyway, cutting, that's what we got here going today. I'm going to go ahead and get a quick moment of prayer when we switch over to the video so I can show you what these original corn dogs from the Fletcher family is all about. All right. So just give me one sec. Okay, I'm back. Now, throughout all that brings us to this. Let's go ahead and get a quick moment of prayer. Father, bless this food I'm about to receive. Help this food nourish my body, make me strong as a person, as strong as a man. And bless those who are hungry. I pray to you, please find me something in your holy graces. My name we pray. Amen. Love you, Father. All right, now. Also, that I saw at Golden Chick, they had brought um, this Golden Chick right there. They brought the Texas State Fair funnel cake the funnel cake uh, ordeal right here. Might get into that later after we finish part of our complete breakfast. All right, so Cuddy, let me show y'all. Uh, did I say the prayer? I did, thank you, honey. Sometimes we forget the whole age. You already see my hairline going back like a full flat. Look at that. This, <laughs> this right here is the Fletcher original corn dog right here, Cuddy. As you can see, this corn dog here is uh, hand dipped. Hand battered, fried to perfection, cornmeal bees the setting, and um, this is supposed to be a hundred percent all big. You know what I'm saying? This is supposed to be that A1. This is supposed to be original. You know what I'm talking about? So that's what we got right here. You can see that it is hand dipped because all of them look funny. You know, they all don't look the same. So let's go ahead and get into this cutting. Now I'm gonna try it the the uh, the corn dog. By itself first before I get into the dipping sauces because I got truff sauce over here. I got mustard and ketchup over here. Okay, so without further ado, this is the Fletcher's original corn dog courtesy of Golden Chick. <sighs> R.I.P. to State Fair 2020. 
delicious. Okay, Cody. That right there, this flavor of the corn dog is a flavor that I've never ever had before. You can kind of taste that it has a different type of freshness to it, especially with the winner, pause. Um, it definitely doesn't taste like some old um, dirty Frank that's in there. It has a different type of um, like uh, freshness to it, you know what I mean? And as you can see, the cornmeal batter and the inside is, um, Got a nice little cushion, but I have to say, the inside of the cornmeal batter or whatever, it has a bit of a dryness to it. As you can see, every time I'm over here trying to, oh, oh, you got to end up putting some some kind of dipping sauce on it because straight up, Cuddy, you're going to mess around and choke. <laughs> but, uh, Cuddy, like, the, like, I can't get over the flavor of the of the, the, the wiener inside, you know what I'm saying? Pause. It really, it definitely could have got like a different type of taste to it, you know what I'm saying? Like a nice saltiness, whatever food. I don't know why I'm tasting like um like like a fresh type of like water, uh, like a um, moisture or like water or like taste, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like whenever you drink like really good water it has like a really good taste to it, it has like that kind of I guess wouldn't say like chlorine finish or whatever but it has like a, a fresh aftertaste to it that's what it has in here uh, let me go ahead and take the stick off for it but um, you definitely can taste that this the the, the corn the cornmeal uh, batter is really brightening out like the levels is out there uh, I'm gonna go ahead and first see what this is all about with the um, ketchup. Got me a night dipper right there. Yeah, that definitely helps out a lot, especially whenever you when you mix when you mix the corn dog with the ketchup. The sweetness of the ketchup really just kind of intersects with the. The cornmeal, because the cornmeal has the cornmeal batter has a nice little sweetness to it. Tasty. I didn't really get much of a first hit crunch or like a crispy snap to it. It's because it's kind of been a minute since you know from bringing it to the crib and and uh setting up and everything like that. You've got Man. mail. Once you dip it in the sauce, it's a one. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Cutting, let me show you this right here. This is what I mean by his hand batter. Fresh, Cutting. Look at this. Look at this, Cutting. Hey, over here looking like a little torpedo right here. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Crazy. And, uh. Okay, Cutting. Now, you ready for this? So, you can get this um, original Fletcher's corn dog in a mill. A fries in a drink for like $7.99. <sighs> now, <laughs> each corn dog by itself, Cuddy, each one of these corn dogs by itself costs $5. $5 for each one of these hand batter corn dogs. Look, I had to say straight up, Cuddy, that to me, that's a bit pricey. A bit pricey. I mean, I understand that this is a super name brand uh, corn dog. This is the original corn dog, you know, hand battered, you know, cornmeal, fresh beef, all that, and this and that. But Cuddy, come on, you know what I'm saying? My dog, come on, Cuddy, you, you gonna be trying to find out for some corn dog, nigga? Come on. Who the hell are you? You know what I'm saying? It's good, you know what I'm talking about? But <sighs> the price is a bit steep. <laughs> 21. Mm. Oh, baby. <laughs> I might have to go back a bit, you know what I'm up? 
I think whenever you dip it in the mustard, the tanginess of that mustard, the slight sweetness of the corn dog, the freshness of the uh, of the dog itself, it just it just melts together. You know what I'm talking about? It's like a, a match made in heaven. Excellent. But this is definitely different. Definitely different from most other corn dogs that I've ever had before. It just has a different type of freshness. I just can't uh, can't stop highlighting that fact. I mean, the texture is really, really good. I just kind of wish that I could have speed racer to the crib. You know what I'm saying? Because these suckers were piping hot from going to go to check and coming to the crib. You know what I'm saying? So, and it took a good wait to get them. So, yes, this is definitely like that, you know, that fresh hand batter, you know, cook to order type ordeal. You know what I mean? Huh. Mm. I don't even know how much regular, like, corn dogs cost at another place, like, Sonic or so. But I think, like, Sonic corn dogs are, like, maybe, like, I don't know, 99 cents or something like that. But you can, but it's, it's like, it's the value. You know what I'm saying? Come on, like, this... This is, I kind of, kind of really want to retract what I was saying because you kind of getting good quality everything with this. You know what I'm saying? You're getting good quality breading with the cornmeal, uh, ham batter breading on it and like the fresh, like I said, the fresh, uh, dog inside. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, because whenever you eat a Sonic corn dog, <laughs> uh -huh. It's kind of like your mama got him at Dollar Tree or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Had him sitting on the, the deep freezer overnight. I mean, disregard. Tell him error cutting. But yes, it's really setting off really well with the mustard. Got a nice little crunch to the end of it. That's an A1. You know what? I ain't going to say that it is, but... The taste of that, um, the weenie or whatever, it tastes like it's some kind of like, like Ecker, uh, a sausage type brand, like a really high quality brand, uh, weenie. <sighs> Refreshing. Man, I had Big Bertha call this water bottle with my wife, jacked it, took it to the shed. <sighs> it is what it is. Cut it so, and oh, you know, the funniest thing I caught that was so crazy about this that, you know, again, shout out to the boys, Golden Chick. You know, you know, I love you boys over there at Golden Chick, Cuddy. Pause. Selling these at $5 a pop, Cuddy, it's a bit, come on. You're like, I know at the State Fair to be even probably more, but come on, Cuddy. I, w I don't even know if they knew this or not, but. You know, do a little of my own history on the on the Fletcher brothers. Did you know in like 19, 1938 and 1942 when they first came out, like when first like the, the Fletcher brothers cut it, they were um you know, they was doing acts and stuff uh at the Texas State Fair, you know what I'm saying? Call like the drunkards or whatever. But the whole deal how they got started making the corn dogs and stuff, Cuddy, was that they um uh, they saw that they that they were doing a lack of they had a lack of cuisines at the state fair, so they looked around. And it was like, well, you know, I want you know, we about to do something special. You know what I'm talking about? So they ended up coming up with the corn dog. This right here is the truff sauce and the corn dog. I just wanted to try something crazy. And did you know that when they first started selling these uh, Fletcher's original corn dogs, these corn dogs, they were selling for fifteen cents a pop. Should be in packages so with it, man. This is a combo breaker for sure, Cody, for sure. Combo breaker. The spiciness of that truff sauce and the sweetness in this truff sauce, the creamy sweetness of this truff sauce. Delicious. Cody, it blew. It's blowing <laughs> the mustard and the ketchup the hell out the water. 
Oh my God, this is a phenomenon. I should get arrested, Cuddy. This is illegal. This is an illegal move I'm doing right here. Truff sauce with, with Fletcher's original corn dog. Finish him. One of those moments when you're getting caught doing something you shouldn't be doing. I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Double refreshing. Don't tell nobody. I ain't gonna tell nobody. I ain't telling nobody that I dipped the Fletcher's corn dog in some truffle hot sauce. What are those bump ridges on the side? <laughs> now everybody's gonna know. <laughs> mm. Oh man, I'm starting to glitch. This is some good stuff right here, cutting. You know, it kind of take me for a roller coaster ride in the beginning, but okay, definitely you can't eat a Fletcher's original corn dog. Bare naked. Actually, at the state fair, what I saw cutting is that they have all different types of Fletcher's corn dogs. They have the jalapeno, the cheesy corn dog. I mean, they're just doing the original for, you know, uh, Golden Chick or whatever, but it would have been really nice. But shout out to Golden Chick for, you know, saving the state of Texas like that. You know what I'm saying? It's a, a chicken chain showing love to some cor to corn dogs. You know what I'm saying? I should have had cheese sauce with this cut. This truck sauce is killing. Really killing. But yeah, Cuddy, 15 cents in 1938 and 1942. They were selling these suckers at 15 cents a pop. What are the Fletcher brothers? <coughs> we'll be kicking. Now somebody does be knowing they selling these selling these beautiful puppies at five dollars. I mean it's high quality, baby. It's high quality, but come on, baby. Five dollars. You said that nobody knows the secret. To the Fletcher's brothers, um, the Fletcher's brothers recipe to the original corn dog, but they only got as far as finding out that it's got something to do with the water pressure, a water temperature, or something. They perfected this bad boy. Like I said, a lot of people out there that claim like that they are original inventor of the hot dogs, but you can look it up in the wiki. The Fletcher brothers are them boys for real, for real. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, speaking of State Fair, Cuddy, this right here is Golden Chicks Funnel Cake. Excuse me. State Fair Funnel Cake right here. Oh, let's see what this is about. Sugar Crush. Oh, yeah. Nice, sweet, doughy, crunching. I powder sugar hits your tongue and it just disintegrates. And I like that doughy taste. Nice and crunchy. Amazing how the crunchiness of the funnel cake stay all the way to here. Compared to the hand batter um, coating, the hand battering um, skin of the the, the hot dog. Very peculiar. Don't you think? Alright, cut it. This is one more for the road ski. One more look at that Fletcher's original hot dog. Let's see. 
man, for I ain't gonna front cut it. This is really, really good with the truck sauce. Mm. Oh yeah. Let me say again, reiterate, it's not horrible, it's not bad. I just wish I could have ran home weirdly fresh. And so I'm going to take the L on that part. But as far as quality go, it's high quality, Cuddy. From the burden, to the freshness of the, the weenie, it's a different type. It's really, really good. And I can definitely taste like a, di a, a total difference of this corn dog compared to corn dogs that I've had from other places. Like seriously. Mm. Maybe I should just did a challenge, you know what I'm saying? But dang, I'm breaking my neck. Maybe I should have did a challenge for the Fletcher corn dogs or whatever. But I just can't see myself continue. Buying like 30 corn dogs, five dollars a pop, I would be an idiot. <laughs> if you don't have truff sauce cutting, then the mustard would be a great way to go. If you do got the truff sauce, oh baby, <laughs> you're going to be in for a treat ski. Let's close this bad boy out. That everybody is my Fletcher's original corn dog mukbang video. Courtesy of Golden Chick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's your boy RDR, and like I always say, man, hey, look, food is a gift, so please give thanks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. If you don't like this video, you really don't like my content, go hit it with a thumbs down. It don't matter. I'm gonna love you like I always have. It's your boy RDR. I'm signing up out of here. God bless y'all. Take care already. I love you guys, and I'm gonna see y'all soon. God bless y'all, and good night.